my last um, exponent property video cut off because <laughs> I only have 15 minutes. So I was at the very end where I was just going to write out all of the exponent properties for you. So let's first start with the product property where we're multiplying exponential terms that have the same base. We can add their exponents and that's called the product property because product means to multiply. Then we have the quotient property a to the m divided by a to the m means we can do a to the m minus n and remember that a cannot equal zero. So there's the product property and then there's the quotient property. Next we have the negative property where we have a to the negative m. Whenever you see a negative exponent you need to reciprocate. This would be the same as if you saw a negative exponent in the denominator you need to reciprocate. Remember that some teachers have probably used flip instead of saying reciprocate. We want to emphasize that you use the word reciprocate now that you're in Algebra 1. So there's product, quotient, and negative properties. Next, we talked about the zero property. So anything to the zero with power is equal to 1. And then we talked about raising an exponential term to another exponent. So a to the m, that quantity to the n, is a to the m times n. So we have product, quotient, negative, zero, and power properties. There are five total. You should be able to use these five properties to simplify expressions involving exponential terms. And remember, I told you that the level one questions are going to be pretty easy. Then level two, it's going to get a little bit harder. And then by the time you actually apply these to the next unit, you're going to be using all of them in a single step. So you should be very familiar with exponent properties.